the idea of this installation was to illustrate how the sun um, can interact with such a reflective piece to create these images. We had developed um, sophisticated algorithms to simulate how sunlight reflects off curved surfaces. And once we've calculated the surfaces of these pieces, we use digital fabrication technology, advanced um, numerically controlled milling machines that fabricate these plates at very, very high precision. In designing the project, we collaborated with architects from the Alice Lab here at EPFL. Uh, we chose uh, the position, the design of the plates, what images will show, and uh, we chose four famous scientists that all have uh, things to do with um, the different fields we study at EPFL. It's actually very close to what we simulated before. The sun, uh, we managed to predict uh, its course over the year with daylight saving times. We had to decide the orientation of the plates such that the images would be visible for most part of the year. And actually one very interesting uh, effect that we notice now is that when uh, the clouds pass over the sun, the image disappears. It gets, first it gets a bit uh, blurry, then it disappears. And then once the cloud passes, it reappears as if by magic. And this is also a really cool effect that we just noticed. So this installation is one instance or one application of our technology of inverse light transport or caustic um, simulation. The applications are actually uh, quite broad. So we investigated, for example, the use not only of reflective surfaces, but also of refractive or transparent surfaces. And the applications range from sort of very small scale optical devices, for example, in laser optics, all the way to large scale architectural or design applications.